Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to host Harry and Meghan over the festive period as Ms Markle prepares to spend her first Christmas with the royal family. Spending her first Christmas with the Queen is sure to be a nerve-wracking experience for Meghan Markle who is expected to join the royal family for their festive celebrations this December. However, here to make her feel as welcome as possible are her future in-laws, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who are reported to be hosting the newly engaged Meghan and Harry over Christmas. Us Weekly reports that Kate, 35, and William, 35, will host Harry, 33, and Meghan, 36, at their Ranmer Hall home in Norfolk during the festive period. The magazine claims Harry and Meghan will spend Christmas Eve with the Queen at Sandringham before joining William and Kate. A source told Us Weekly, they'll be William and Kate's guests and travel back and forth with them. The magazine reports that the two couples will enjoy breakfast together on Christmas morning before attending the 11 a.m. church service at Street. Mary Magdalene, after a turkey dinner made up of three birds, one of which will be taken to the nursery for Charlotte and George, the royals will watch the Queen's speech at 3 p.m. The source adds, in this year's address, she, the Queen, will congratulate Harry and Meghan. The source also reports that Meghan is expected to stay home with Kate, who is expecting her third child, on Boxing Day while the remainder of the family join Prince Philip on his traditional Boxing Day pheasant shoot. Mail Online has contacted Kensington Palace for a comment. It is thought that the 36-year-old actress has secured an invite to the traditional festivities following the announcement of the engagement despite not yet being an official member of the family. It would mark a break from tradition, as Kate was not invited to join Prince William for Christmas in 2010, despite announcing their engagement a month before. Among the royals expected to go to Sandringham on Christmas Eve are Prince Harry, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, Princess Anne and Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence and Prince Edward with his wife, Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, and their children. Lady Louise and James, Viscount Severn. Meghan was not invited to join the royal family's celebrations last year with it considered unprecedented as the invite is usually reserved for close family. Over three days, Harry and Meghan will experience a deeply traditional Christmas, but one that the royals have uniquely personalized, including cheap and cheerful gifts given on Christmas Eve and a liking for charades at which the Queen, a superb mimic, always shines. Prince Philip leads the family on the 330-yard walk to the 16th-century Church of St. Mary Magdalene on Christmas morning. The Queen, however, is driven. The service is always about 45 minutes, the Queen having received communion privately in the morning. The royals enjoy bespoke Christmas crackers made by Dorset Company Celebration Crackers. Everyone wears paper hats except the Queen. Party games are popular, as are cards. For lunch on Christmas Eve. The men wear suits and the women wear smart silk dresses, but they change into black tie and glamorous gowns for dinner. It's the one time the women wear their most expensive jewelry and almost all wear tiaras. On Christmas Day, they come dressed in their church outfits, usually a day dress or a smart suit with pearls for the women. For the traditional walk to church, the men don warm overcoats, 